how to troubleshoot a fenced short. So you're supposed to start from down near the actual unit to sort of decide which way the short is going. This fence unit, you hold up against any electric wire and it'll tell you the number of kilovolts and the number of amps. So this has 3.1 kilovolts and 37 amps going to my left. So that means the problem is probably down here somewhere and you just move left until you find where it goes right. So here, this is a dead end, see so it doesn't go on to anywhere else. That must come up from up there. So we've got to test on this one. So it's still 39 going that way. So inside this paddock, just because it's on the way, I can test here. We have 20 amps suddenly going down this way. And yeah, 20 amps, both wires. So that is a very good indication that there is a big short here. I know it doesn't quite add up to the 39 we're looking for, but it's well worth investigating this 39. So you come for a quick drive down the fence line looking for anything obvious. I can see there's a lot of greenery going over there. It'll be interesting to see how many amps that's taking. So amps is the measure of flow of current. Uh, the voltage is like the temperature of the water. So it's still here. 17 going that way. Interesting that's not 19. 20 on the lower one. Okay. So that probably works out. We'll see what this is after this. So here we go, having driven over that really dangerous mound I didn't realise was there, uh, I can retest after it to see if the amperage has changed. So here, still 17 on top, still 20 on bottom. So as much as it looks like that is a real disaster, that's not doing anything. So I made it to the end of the paddock, which was more difficult than it should have been. And you can see here there's a junction. So it's good to start testing here and see which way the leak goes. So here before it, 17. 19. Let's see some big ones out this way. We have 28 going that way. It's very likely it's that way. I'd like to get over there though to make sure because it's interesting that that red one goes into the ground. From the other side of the fence, let's see, this one has 10. So not as big, but there will be something along there as well. Let's see what this is. Well, that is quite telling. That's a bit of metal that's been plugged into the ground. So let's see if it's any better without that. So with that piece of wire secured out of the way, I can check this. Still 10 going that way, so that little piece of red wire wasn't doing much. Let's go back to this direction. We still have 27 amps going this way. There's gotta be some metal there. So I jump ahead to the other corner of the paddock. And here I can see it's 27 amps going left, but this one just goes down to here, to the bottom. I don't think that goes across to another paddock. So on the bottom, it's 26 going that way, back into this mess. So I've got to find that. So here in the middle of this big lump of greenery, that bottom wire is totally buried. But I've kicked it clear, and you can test it here. And it's still 26 going that way. So here I am on the other side of this big lump. Kick the bottom wire clear. And it's one amp. This top one. It's 28 going through to the end. Reversing down. Coming back. It's 28 amps disappearing somewhere in this pile. Then when it, by the time it gets to here, it's not leaving. So the weed eater wasn't where I left it, but I've been just kicking holes in all this and testing it down here, another meter closer, one amp, so it's somewhere in here. Some things have shuffled around and I can see a spark happening there. And just like that, found a loose bit of wire that was leaning against that hot wire on the bottom. Okay, so plan A, though it's difficult to see, is to take the wire, and what I've done is I've tied it onto my tow bar, and I can try to pull it out.
this is about how these things go. I was pulling it out and I ran over a hidden log. Now I'm beached. Okay, with a few choice swear words, I got it off the log and uh, got the wire. We can just follow that back, see how far we've got to go. I can, I can pull that with my hand. So, marvellous. Let's go test the results. So, previously on this top rail, we had 20 amps escaping. I turn the fence on again. Now we have 1 amp, 4 amps. Going the other way. And the voltage has gone up from one and a half to three and a half. Down here, similar story, two amps disappearing versus 19. I'd call that a success. Phew! Time to go home. Got my traditional weeding, pile of junk. Let's get out of here. So back at the start of the paddock, we can retest this and see our 20 amp leak has gone to 14 and our kilovolts has come from 2.9 up to 4.2 and that is a noticeable improvement though there's still more work to do